Okay, so this is the uh, AX um, S20 um, balancer. Uh, I was given this by the uh, Bio Bioloid for free because um, they want me to test it out. So here I am. It's for sale in the market yet. Okay, so what you do is uh, it appears as one of the servos and um, you plug it into one of the servos itself into the sensor. All right, and then you have um, X, Y, and Z, and then acceleration as well. As you can see, these readings are quite stable. There, there aren't any noises like the gyro you got earlier. All right. So you get Z. It's not doing much. Maybe this will do something. All right. You need to get the acceleration as well. All right. So you get the uh, get the point. So it's a close-up of the chip, and the dynamics uh, flex uh, is wider and higher compared to the uh, one come with the premium, the gyro comes with the premium. This is the default uh, gyro of the Robotis premium, uh, much smaller. And because of the size, I had a lot of problem fitting in the uh, fitting in, inside the robot. I had to make the, the arms wider, I had to unscrew everything and it wider. I, um, I tried various things and I inserted the board uh, vertically instead of horizontally. Okay, and um, and there's a direction to do the board, and I, I, I mix it up, I put it the other way around. And in order not to waste any more time, I, I changed the task file of the program to compensate for that. Uh, that will be, I will be talking about that in a, in a second. So basically, it took me three days to sort out the uh, the wires first. I thought that would be using the sensor wire. That, that's the same with the gyro, but no, it uses the servo wires. And then I had problem fitting it inside the robot, and then I had problems uh, changing the task file. So it took me three days. Okay, so um, this is the program given to me by Bioloid. I'm just going to explain how it works. So you have a main program, like all programs, you have a start, and everything inside it is uh, the code. So first of all, it will call a standard like uh, Jesus T-shape motion. Um, okay, so you can have any other motion, I guess. Uh, and then it, it set a variable true so that the the function down there will work. And then it will keep on looping and calling the same same motion. And you can and then you have a callback function. What is a callback? Callback is basically a function that calls itself like, uh, I don't know, 50 times per second. So it, like, it calls itself here, 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 and then as soon as you got the variable true, then when it comes in here, it will start execute, otherwise it will go out. Right, so this is um, talking a bit about callback function as well. Okay, so and then you set the center, it's like this is where you set the, set the, the variables for the x and y, and what if you want it to tilt to the left, then you set it to bigger figure and so it's basically telling it to be zero and then uh, all right and then it tried to read the previous data and then stuff like that well it stored the, the previous data into previous okay and here it reads the 105 which is our, our sensors and then it reads the y variables so you can double click it and I guess you can uh, you can uh, just check uh, I think that was it. You can use X, Y, and C variables, right? So when I got my robot, because I got the board um, inserted the wrong way, I need to change the Y to the to the X. So so it took me uh, half a day, half a day to figure that out. And I also needed to to swap from data data. I think I I swapped this one from data to center. So I changed it because if you change it then it become you know like from positive to negative so I changed that and I found I don't need to change this one so you know one works and then the code divides the uh, the error uh, basically it's saying like uh, where the the robot is from where the center is and divide by 16 so you know it tells you more where where the error how, how to it the robot is 
and then if it's tilted like bigger than 2048 then it doesn't get big so it doesn't screw up the, the circles alright do the x and y the same way and then still divide it and I, I, I guess it basically um, do a minimum increment at a time so you know which is why you see the robot doesn't like jump too fast and you do all these calculations and then finally it offsets the joints basically it sends like a uh, servo ID 11 to be this final des destination calculated by all these calculations up there all right so all these joints of the legs and then here just print it off so you can see and close bracket for callback so yeah basically I get this program then I'll send it to a robot then here it's, it works so um, please uh, subscribe and comment and let me know what you think thank you bye bye <laughs>